what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. We are back with the nationally syndicated radio movie critic, Ryan J. He's here to tell you about the life in Whoville That's right. and if we should see the new Grinch movie. Hello, Ryan. What do you think? I yeah. was so. I, I think that's beanie. fantastic. I think it's really cute. I was super excited to be at Movie Club on Tuesday night. It was packed. You had a lot of people turn out. It for was that. very busy. Well, what's more popular than Christmas time in the Grinch? And I loved the Ryder family who showed up uh, dressed in their Grinch uh, pajamas. Brent and Ashley and their lovely children. Oh wow! So cute. Yeah, I so, think I saw them there. Yeah, they were great, great <laughs> holiday spirit. Them? Right, right. There so were a cute. lot of people wearing. Oh, Grinch, were there? Grinch He's wear. popular. That's why, and I'm, and I'm giving away this Grinch beanie today too so, so people can go over to my website for that but um what did you think I thought Where'd it was start? great here's the thing is it, it, it's animated of course and I just thought the 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 Grinch you know like if he'd have snow on him or mm -hmm. something the 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 animation was just really sharp and crisp and cool I agree. And yeah. um, I just thought it was a very sweet movie, touching. Absolutely, super cute. So, so, I mean, there's so much to unpack there, really. I mean, touching upon the design, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's textured, not just in the CGI animation, which we hadn't seen before with this, because there's, you know, the Jim Carrey live action version. There's the classic animated uh, perennial holiday version that we see on TV every year. But this is so layered and so beautiful. It makes me want to go back to like Universal Studios in Florida to their Seuss land and have them redo it because of all the swirling images and the curls and Seuss would be so proud I think they also put a lot of new rhyming in the dialogue mm -hmm. oh, which really? was thrilling too updated the music so you're mean one Mr. Grinch is like they kind of have like a hip-hop spin on it that's really fun I thought that was cool mm -hmm. too yeah I love really that. really great touches yeah that's great okay so this is a see it it's a see it yeah absolutely it's just really great there's also some uh, some new layers to like the background of the Grinch you understand his character a little bit more it's I great. appreciated that too mm -hmm. you, you tend to Wait, empathize more. Know the backstory on the Grinch <laughs> yeah. it's not, not what's a, wrong with his parents it's not an origin story but oh. it's more like you know you understand his personality and what makes him the Grinch Exactly. I like yeah. that. Great message, too. What about the girl in the spider's web? This one is rated R. Right. And this is interesting because it's a sequel, but it's also a sort of reboot to a franchise because in 2011, we had the girl with the dragon tattoo with Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara. And this recasts Elizabeth Salander with Claire Foy from Netflix's The Crown. Right. Which well, is amazing. She is amazing. And she's good in this, but the film isn't great. Really? Yeah. Oh, that bums me out because, I mean, the girl with the dragon tattoo. So good. Yes. Disturbing. Uh, yes. But so good. Is this disturbing or it just doesn't really land? I mean, it has great action. It's not as much disturbing as the first one was. Um, the, it has a great opening, but the opening is also the scene in the credit, in the trailer. Oh, so um, you get it all right, in the trailer. Right, you kind of get it all in the trailer. And because the director is different, you know, the first one was David Fincher. There's also the, the three uh, foreign language versions of this story. You know, there are three, bo three books turned into the Swedish version of the film with uh, Numi Rapace as L Elizabeth Slender, and those are considered classics. Um, this time around, it, there's less bite in the suspense. The action is so good to the point where I was like moving in my seat like I was a human joystick trying to get the cars to go in my direction, mm -hmm. but it lacks suspense, and I feel like it's something you could wait to stream at home someday. It's gorgeously shot, but not as cool edited as like David Fincher did in the last one, so this is one to stream. Okay, okay. yeah, I was going to ask you about the cinematography, mm -hmm. so that part of it's Right, well, and also the style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the sister character, when she comes out in that red outfit, just yes. what I've seen in the trailer, I'm like, oh, I'll watch it just for the fashion stuff. Yeah, yeah it's a yeah, great, it's a great that. suit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a giveaway you want to talk about, right? I have a right? couple of giveaways. Yay. The first, there's some new movies out on home video release that are available on digital and on uh, Blu-ray. So let's start with Incredibles 2, which is so great because uh, it was an excellent, excellent uh, I love the Incredibles. Sequel. Yeah, the one, and I love the baby. The baby is the, the knockout in this one. So go over to my website to enter to win a free HD digital copy of Incredibles 2. And then also new on Blu-ray and HD Digital is one of my favorite movies of the year. I just hit myself in the face. I got so excited. Oh. <laughs> Christopher Robin. I love this movie. I could watch it daily. And it's the kind of Disney classic that as you watch it as a child and then rewatch it as you age with your children and grandchildren, it will mean something different to you at each stage in your life. It's so beautiful. So head over to my website. I've also got some lip balm and some other goodies to give away for Christopher Robin if you want to enter to win that. I want to see that one with my kids. I you wanted to. to take them to the theater and wasn't Must. able to but I thought the message in that film mm -hmm. looks so Well, sweet. and just your recommendation on it makes me want to get it now. You will love it. Yeah. Okay. But very confident. You have McGregor, too. Oh, my yeah. God, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. I love him. Uh, movie Club 
coming up? Movie Club, Fantastic Beast: The Crimes of Grindelwald. Ooh, yes, okay, that's finally a big one. it's here. Yeah. I uh, was so lucky to uh, actually see it already last week. I hosted it in advance screening in Chicago. It's amazing, and I can't really say too much about it. But if you want to see it again with me before it opens in theaters, Wednesday, November 14th, 7:30 p.m. Head over to my website. You are going to want to kiss the mind of J.K. Rowling to see what she does in this film. Really? It is unbelievable how it ties to Harry Potter. There are things that happen in this movie that you have to go back and see because there's no warning for it. And then, like, it happens, but you can't rewind it, so you have to go see it a second time, knowing that it's coming up to watch it with anticipation the second time around. So I can't wait to see it for a second time. You will love it the first time. If you haven't seen the first one yet, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, catch up on that before Wednesday and come join me at the movie club. Great idea. All right, that's fun. And people can Thanks. go to your uh, website to Thanks. find out more about the movie club as well as the giveaways that you talked about today. You can follow Ryan on Instagram and Twitter. And for his full movie reviews, check out that website. It's ryanjreviews.com.